All right, Junkie Nation. Had a uh, few folks asking me about uh, how I was gonna do my my flip shelter rack. I had no clue at the time, so I thought, well, I had limited ideas to go off of. I figure I might as well post my idea that I came up with. What I ended up doing is at Menards for about thirty bucks a stick. It was actually about twenty-five bucks a stick, I think. For this, uh, I got this aluminum angle iron here. Whoop, 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 me. Pressing buttons here, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I got these through bolts that actually are, uh, they're, uh, I don't know, J clamps, I guess you would call. It allows it to just grab onto my rack and I can take my rack off whenever I need to cover it or transport it. Anyway, so I thought that was, a, that was important to me to make sure that was done. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty inexpensive. What I did is I ground off all the corners so that it didn't eat into my sled at all. Um, I don't have any supports in the middle, it's just all the bottom of the sled, but the way each rail hugs the side of the sled, all I gotta do is kick her up and she slides right up there and uh, stays in place. So I drilled some holes here for my uh, tie down and uh, she stays on there pretty good, but the only thing I think I would still like to do is um, She's hanging pretty far off the back here. It was important for me that I could take a second person, uh, like my wife, along with me. So I didn't want to come too far forward. I wanted to leave myself some rear rack space. Plus, I got my fish in, or my bucket that'll be uh, my sitting fish and throw my fish in. But uh, I'd like to get some kind of, I'd like to figure out some kind of, uh, again, pressing buttons here, some kind of uh, support to kick from the, from the uh, bumper. Up to the uh, up to the rear, so, an added support because you know driving around my yard it's fine, but uh, I, I, the ice I've been on that ice where it's just jarring your teeth. I don't want anything to break while I'm out in the field here. That's hard to shake and see how that looks. It's actually this cheap composite rack that wants to flex and bend right there. I can't see that on the video here. But uh, it's not the stability of the angle. Yeah, that stuff's pretty, pretty tough. It's the, uh, it's actually the rack right here where there's just, there's, there's nothing underneath here. And so when all that weight is pulling, I don't know. I'm not sure how I want to do that. Well, we'll figure something out. We've gotten it this far, and you see, I got my, my uh, digger on there. I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, a gorilla could hang on this thing. I could pull it all around my yard. Uh, I don't think this is gonna be an issue with this flapping around. I'm not too worried about that. They do send a bracket along in the kit for that. Uh, but uh, this is gonna be my little ice machine this year. It's a step up from my uh, 